Hello, everybody. My name is Big Zorich, and today we are going to. Oh, we're going to be playing some more uh, Alice. Madness Returns. Um. Oh, gosh. Right now is the slide part. Oh! Right now is the slide part. Um. This is actually my fourth time recording this because, um, I am not God's favorite, apparently. So, we're just gonna go ahead and get this started. Um, yeah, that is Colossal Ruin. Oh my goodness, oh my, oh. Where's this head? Yep, so you're gonna notice I have a few items already that I'm not supposed to have and that is because this is my second time doing this! Ah, no, 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 no! Dang it! Oh! There we go. Oh, I got mad. There's supposed to be a facer. Okay. Anyways. Um. Woo! Yeah, oh my goodness, I got my butt kicked. Um, but you'll notice I'm pointing this on my completed profile because, no, well, I. This playthrough is not going very well because it's just. Yeah, oh my goodness. That is, uh. Ooh! That is a scary sight. Um, look at all these. Poor dead fish. Jeez. There's a piggy! Piggy snout! Which... There we go. Whee! Let me get this bottle up here. Um, and then... Yeah, there's this here. So let's go ahead and... Go this way. What's what's this? Oh, this is to get one of the red cow oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Come on down. Here we go. And here we go. There's no time to waste. There's no time at all. Kill or be killed. Oh dear. Oh, I, I tried dodging twice. It didn't work. Oh, really? Here we go. But there's more. Don't worry your little head. Come on. Oh, my goodness. Oh, 
Oh, I went through it. Ah! Okay. Damn it. Damn it. Ah. Oh. Oh my goodness, I am not good at this combat stuff, am I? You've already missed the train. Yep, I know. Collect the rose. Woo, my goodness, that was brutal. I had to really focus there and not talk. <laughs> um, but yeah, now that that's done, we're going to go ahead and uh, continue onwards. down this way and uh yeah them poor fish you know every picture tells a story sometimes we don't like the ending sometimes we don't understand it very true that one's still alive that is unfortunate That is just, just painful. Alright, we're gonna continue onward. That's so sad. So sad. The door is behind us closed. And there's, uh, there's a couple of our friends. You're ready for a big cutscene. Here we go. And gentlemen, welcome to the show. Bizarre show. That's quite enough of that, I think. Enough preliminaries. Here's the performance you've been waiting for. Proves I'm without prejudice and have a fine sense of humor. Sword and crown are worthless here. I invite everyone to dance. Laborers, lawyers, church and gown all make their little prance. This life is full of random deaths and heaps of grief and shame. So few are soothed by accident. You want someone to blame. Fire, plague, and strange disease. Drowned, murdered, or if you please. A long fall down the basement stairs. None are expected. No one cares. I often must work very hard. Sweat running down my skin. After the dance, I then must rest. And the eating can begin. Time to eat. Death is the ultimate equalizer. All have the right to be eaten. <laughs> Get a knife, princess. Don't push. All will be served. So to speak. Wicked thing. Feasting while Wonderland is destroyed. I'm not the enemy you seek, Alice. I tried to hide this bit of Wonderland from that beast. Appeasement's never clean. We must all play our assigned roles. Are you a pawn or a queen? An idiot or a practiced fool? However this turns out, consider the prospect that you've been misled, Alice. Then ask by whom? No! Who set that bloody train in motion? Where does it come from? It arrived when you arrived, and it's more horrible even than you could currently imagine! The death of a dream! Caterpillar may know how! Oh dear. What? Oh, the blood in my mouth tastes like bile. 
Where's the brute that hit me, Nanny? Nasty prats out cold. Not dead and more's the pity. What did he want? What they all want. Money didn't earn. What were you thinking, butting into that mess? You could have been killed. Nanny, my mind's in pieces. I still have terrible visions and I need to know. About the fire. Same as always. You need to move on, Alice. So do I. Well, at least she's not spewing that asylum nonsense. My past is dead, I killed them, I should have saved them, I should have died. Her mind was in shambles. Radcliffe thought familiar faces would bring her round. After a year, he lost interest in their inheritance, greedy sod. Still, always asking his bizarre questions. Every dose of madness, I'd say, but honest is never the best policy in this life. When she wasn't comatose, she gaped, eyes like pinwheels, drooled, occasionally squeaked. Never uttered a sensible sound. And like the child she was, she kept her secrets close. Hmm. Interesting. So now here we are back in reg the regular world again. Gone off some lurkers, common as cockroaches. And those poor tykes are food for perverts, like the blameless ants that wasps consume or spiders' feeble prey. You visited my room at Rutledge. What you were you- You call that? Radcliffe paid me for a bit. A woman alone sometimes does what she doesn't particularly feel like doing, as you know. Nurse Whitless said you'd fallen on hard times. I'm no drunk like her. I'm hurting no one. Hookin's not a bad life. Except for the pimps. She also said you might have my rabbit. Please, Nanny, talk about the damn fire. Never seems to help. Look, Alice, I can't give you what I don't have. Radcliffe wrote the inquest report. I'll take you to him. Besides, he's got your damn rabbit. You should remember that. All right, but Mr. Radcliffe's useless. <sighs> don't I know it. My goodness, okay. So we are back here in the regular world. Here we are. Just looking at everyone and everything, just getting a feel for the place. You know what I mean? To the ground, Bill. Yeah, I've been scouting around. Nothing getting a minute. The place is crawling with rosers since them bleeding murders. Whose work was that? You wanna know that sort of thing? Little, Mr. Radcliffe. Ah, oh, you're back. I suppose you better come up. Mind the latch. Okay. So now we are in Mr. Radcliffe's house. Ooh, look at that. Got himself a nice little room in here. And um, I actually think this is a good stopping point right here. Um, yeah, I think this is a good stopping point. And uh, I will, I want to keep the episodes shorter and shorter because if I go too long, then the game starts to crash and bug out and. Yeah, my computer just can't handle it. So if I want to get this series done, I have to time manage. So, um, yeah. Thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it. And I will see you in the next one. Peace out.